I just want to update something for you. The jury was not selected today. It's not done with yet. That is still going to continue into tomorrow. Meanwhile, the case against former Catholic priest Robert DeLand has had plenty of twists and turns. Let's take a look at how we got to this point. February 2018, MidMichigan learns of the criminal accusations against Robert DeLand. The activities involved in this case are detestable. Prosecutors charged DeLand with six felonies and a misdemeanor for alleged criminal sexual conduct crimes involving two men and a minor. DeLand was a priest at St. Agnes Catholic Church in Freeland. He also volunteered at Freeland High School. Shocked that this could actually happen in such a small town with the person that it actually happened with. April 2018, the first of three preliminary exams begin. In each court proceeding, DeLand's alleged victim in that specific case takes the witness stand. The first alleged victim claimed he had an encounter with DeLand at his home. He had his hands on my shoulders and the next thing I know, he grabbed my face and started making out with me. Another alleged victim said DeLand sexually assaulted him at his home as well. At one point, he, when he was massaging my back, he moved his hand down my butt and put his hand on my butt. And a third alleged victim says he had a close call with DeLand during a memorial at St. Agnes Catholic Church. He didn't go in for his regular handshake. He went a little bit lower than what I'm used to. The court finds there is enough evidence to bind over DeLand for trial. September 2018. Instead of heading to trial, DeLand decides to plead no contest to the criminal charges against him. DeLand, who had no prior criminal record, is looking at one year behind bars, five years probation, and has to register as a sex offender. I want to make it clear to the public that there was absolutely no plea agreement in this case. He pled no contest, which is the equivalent of a guilty plea, to all of the original charges. October 2018, DeLand rescinds his no contest plea after learning Judge Darnell Jackson might exceed the state sentencing guidelines and impose a stiffer penalty. So instead of finding out what Judge Jackson has in store for him, DeLand chooses to let a jury of his peers decide his fate. And fast forward to today, we are told by the Saginaw County Prosecutor's Office that jury selection in the first of DeLand's two trials will continue tomorrow morning, and testimony could begin by the afternoon. Of course, we will continue to follow this case every step of the way. Reporting in the Continuous News Center, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.